Hi everyone. I'm Judith Grace Akinyi, aka Saga. Hi everyone. Kwa majina zangu ni Ruby Lusanji Mkonjero. Leo tunaongea kuhusu beef wa gerezani na magonjwa. Most people in this world have experienced so much pain. But did you know that you can turn that pain into purpose? A lot of things happen to us in this life, but we should never, ever give up. Keep fighting on, because you never know why uh, Almighty God has allowed this to happen into your life. As my friend has said, today we are going to take you through sickness, uh, pain, and death in prison. Some people think that um, the, the, the office has torture people to death. But I can tell you, for the time that we were there, we did not see this. There was no torture such that someone is tortured until they die. What I witnessed was suicide and illness, illnesses. The only thing I can say is that during that time, uh, medication was very uh, low, but with time, things improved. Prison is a siku kabla ugonjeka upeleko hospitali inachukua muda na iyo matibabu mzuri hii kukua. So by that time it was difficult kwa sababu saingine ungepewa panado ama aspring wakikuangalia vile uko. Lakini ugonjwa na inaenderea. Nilikuwa mgonjwa sana, sana. Lakini next week nitawambia vile nilikuwa mgonjwa vile saka alikuwa na nitunza na simi peke yangu. Saga alitunza watu wengi sana wagonjwa, I think, alikuwa na hiyo roo. Kwa sababu wengine hange shugulika na wewe. Lakini yeye, alikuwa na hiyo roo, hata ukiwa mgonjwa, ataenda kuitania, aseme no, this lady leo amezidi ya kulala usiku, jutukua tunalala na one room. Na even different rooms, alikuwa naenda kuna mmoja wetu, alikuwa mgonjwa, na I think, hata saga atawaelezea vile kulikuwa. Today, I'll tell you about this lady uh, who got sick. And in those days, there, were no, uh, there was no proper cure for, for HIV and AIDS. And remember we said that we used to sleep uh, like 70 people in one cell. Nakumbuka ile cell ya kwanza. Yeah, yes, yes, nakumbuka. And then wakati, uh, wacha tumuite Rose. That's mm. not her real name. Mm. Wakati Rose aligonjeka, Hizo mattresses vile zilikuwa zimepangwa from one corner to another. Yes. Unakumbuka vile watu Unakumbuka walifanya? Unakumbuka alikuwa opposite kwetu. Yeah. Alikuwa nakoa the whole night, uh -huh. mucha na yote. Uh -huh. Lakini, hata tunashukuru mungu juu, atu kushikuwa na ilikuwa TB. Na kabla apeleko hospitali, ilichukua mdamurefu, watu wanamtoroka. Afadhali huyo, uh -huh. hakutengwa. Uh -huh. Nakumbuka yule alisukumwa karibu na... Yes. Karibu na cho. Na kumbuka vizuri sana. Kila mtu? Alimukata kabisa. Especially wal, watu waligundua akona, uh, alikuwa HIV. HIV. Mm -hmm. Na wakati huo ndio ule wakati zivu watu wa HIV walikuwa na wekwa kwa um, polythin. Mm -hmm. Wanafungu, wanatupwa, mm -hmm. wanazikwa. So kila mtu aliogopa, akaskumwa karibu na, na cho. cho. Mm -hmm. Na kumbuka hizo cho vile nilisema zilikuwa zinaja. Kabisa. Hakuna wakati zilikuwa ziko sawa. Na ikiwa sawa leo kesho imeja. Mm -hmm. Sasa huyu akawekwa huko. Kila mtu hataki kusiana na ye. Akazidi kudhofika. She got very, very, very sick. But I told God, this is your child. Na watu wake walikuwa hawakuji. For years, alikuwa mekaa. Karibu ten years. E, na hakuna mtu wake alikuwa mekuja. Hakuna mtu alikuwa nakuja mm -hmm. kumtembelea. Nikasema mungu, mimi na ye, nitamsaidia mpaka pali na weza, and we used, I used to sit with her, alikuwa na shindu wa kumeza, because saa zingine nafikiri hiyo kitu ilikuwa ina, ina affect throat, anakuwa na vidonda, hana test kwa ulimi, so saa ingine in a whole day, alikuwa naeza kukunyu watu soup, one spoon. Lakini nikuwa nasema mungu, wakiwe kata hiyo one spoon ingie, imuamushe kesho awe mzima itakuwa ni vizuri. So nilikuwa nampatia hizo chakula saa zingine alikuwa anashindwa hata kukula hata kwa muka kwa muka. Mm. Aende ajisaidie. So ilikuwa inabidi amejisaidia. Ninaenda kwa nurse naomba gloves. Gloves 
ili niweze ku, ku, kumsaidia asilale mali mali pabaya ama asishikwe na vidonda kwa sababu alikuwa hawezi kutembea na alikuwa amelala karibu 4 5 6 months then siku moja tu nakumbuka siku ile aliniita usiku usiku katikati ya usiku kila mtu ame amesha nili hata nilimsikia akikuita kaniita nikaenda siku jua ndio wakati wake wa mwisho that memory lingers in my mind till to date and that day she got even strength to lift her hand which she could never lift akaniambia saga hivi ndio watu uchota baraka wengine wakiuza baraka zao na alikuwa na i remember alikuwa anafanya na mkono kuchota you know kuchota sasa wewe hivi unakuja kunipa chakula hujanitoroka angalia unaweza hesabu hiyo gap yenye wameniwachia wakanisukuma kwa choo Mungu atakubariki at that time i didn't know what she was saying because sasa baraka baraka na niko hapa na tuko na wewe na tumefungiwa itakuwa lini na wengi wetu hatuonagi hizo baraka we don't see god's blessings or we don't count them we just look at what we want ahead not knowing that even just waking up just that breath that you have woken up that morning is also a blessing the following day what happened Robi unakumbuka nakumbuka alipelekwa mm. hospitali na akakufa Akuru. na umesahau kusema kitu moja vile alikuambia those blessings vile ulimuuliza mm. baraka gani alianza kucheka mm. na ni kitu yenye ajawai mm. alianza kucheka mpaka mm. some few people tukaamuka eh me what i want to tell kenyans ni kitu moja mtu uko pale prison na hata wengine wamefungiwa kifungo ina, wako karibu kumaliza na hawataki kuenda wanasema tunaenda wapi mm. Because there are people wamewawacha. Hayawajai kuwa visit ata siku moja. Mm. Mutu anamaliza kifungo, anata, a, ata kama wangekuwa na uwezo, lakini kulingana na sheria, ukimaliza your sentence lazima utoke. Lakini wengine wanataka kukatalia hapo. Alafu sasa unajua mutu wakiwa na HIV prison, it is worse ujue ukiwa prison. Kwa sababu ukitoka huko inje huko na stigma mbili. You are HIV positive, na pia umetoka jela, kuna hilo stigma. Ata kwa family enyu, ata, ata wako damu yako kabisa. Even you are really brother. Eh? Aneza kukukata kabisa. For those who used to just give up, there's one day we woke up, and we woke up to this girl who had served seven years. She had just a few weeks to go home. Can you believe she had committed suicide? She just gave up like that. Because no one used to come to visit her. Her people had deserted her. And she was wondering, where am I going? I'd rather just remain here because everybody has deserted me. I would like to urge people out there that no matter what your person has done, they are still human beings. If God can forgive, we can do horrible things. We can do silly mistakes. Ask God for forgiveness and he forgives. Why can't you forgive somebody who has repented? Why would you want to hold it and just remind them all the time? God does not keep records of our mistakes. We should ask God to help us also to be the same. This girl just took a piece of string. I don't know where she got this string. She must have cut it from the edge of her cloth. And she took, by then we had now buckets. She took a bucket. She stepped on it and tied the string on the small window that is the cell window, very tiny, with those bars. So she tied the string on the bar and she tied it around her neck. And then she kicked the bucket off and the string, um, with time, of course, she, could, she was breathless. And we found her dead. That was the most shocking thing in my life that time. I'd never ever seen a fresh dead body. And this girl just decided to go like that. A very healthy person. How I wish she had talked to someone about her problems. Just what we keep on saying. If you're going through stuff, you're going through something, it is good to talk to somebody. Share your worries. 
your pain with one or two people whom you can trust. You wouldn't want to witness what we witnessed. Stay away from crime. Stay away from trouble. When you are angered, talk to somebody. When you are troubled, look for a counselor. Talk to your teacher. Talk to somebody who can keep your confidence. Thank you for watching us. Stay tuned for more stories. Remember to subscribe, like, share, comment. Thank you also for your comments. Thank you for the love that you have shown us. We love you too. Thank you so much. We love you. And we are going to go on each and every topic that you have suggested to us. So stay tuned.